Elections are right around the corner, and one of the hot button issues in Florida is medical marijuana. The state is fairly split on the matter, but a number of polls show a majority do support the measure. Fox News reporter Will Robinson Smith is taking a closer look. At stake in the Sunshine State is a provision that would open the doors to doctors to recommend marijuana to their patients. Our focus as physicians is to provide optimal care in a compassionate manner for those individuals that need it and aren't able to get it thus far in this state. Dr. Joseph Rosado is a primary care physician in Pensacola who says the measure has enough checks and balances to make it work. The recommendation must come from a physician that is sent to the Department of Health and then the Department of Health would then issue a, the card that identifies them as someone that would be able to obtain that from a dispensary or wherever the state figures out eventually where they're going to be getting it. One of the opposition groups to the amendment passing is the No on Two campaign. They say the language in the amendment is too broad and point to the definition of debilitating medical conditions in which it lists a number of illnesses and says or other conditions. Other conditions such as headaches, such as sleep apnea, such as stress. Their own lawyer that spoke before the Supreme Court did admit in open court that it could be given for headaches. Rosado argues that the reason the law isn't getting the kind of overwhelming support that the Compassionate Medical Cannabis Act of 2014 got is because this would permit marijuana with the chemical THC, which alters the mental state of the user. They envision that anything that has THC in it would then lead to the legalization of recreational use, which we're comparing apples to oranges. This has nothing to do with recreational use. It has to do with the decriminalization of medical marijuana. The opposition disagrees. It is full-blown legalization. It will turn our state into the wild, wild west of marijuana, and it's just not the best for Florida. Whether or not it is best will be up to the voters tomorrow. In Pensacola, Will Robinson Smith, Fox 10 News. And because the issue would change Florida's constitution, a 60% majority is needed for it to pass.